we have a very simple circuit and uh, our task is to find one current namely current that flows through this resistance and we will solve this problem by means of nodal analysis and then by means of a superposition theorem at first nodal analysis so this is our network once again and uh, a single equation nodal equation uh, please observe that this branch conductance is zero this branch resistance is infinity uh, to obtain a branch total resistance uh, its so source should be a zero set to zero which means our current source uh, should be uh, opened uh, and uh, an open circuit in series with arbitrary resistance is still an open circuit uh, uh, infinitely large resistance conductance then is equal zero so this is how to take into account uh, a branch with the current source at the left side of an equation at the right side obviously it is current j that enters uh, node one so this is novel equation for this node we solve this equation to find uh, node voltage v sub one which is 3.5 and then dividing this voltage by resistance we obtain current i which is 0 0.7 amp we may verify this solution by means of a piece by simulation uh, this is the net list and part of the output file is here the current is really 0 0.7 amp and now same problem but a superposition theorem approach we have to split our circuit into as many sub circuits as we have uh, in the sources uh, independent sources in our circuit so this is a circuit sub circuit with a voltage source and this is sub circuit with a current source uh, we have to in this circuit with the voltage source we have to set to zero the current source which means we have to open its terminals and in this circuit where we have a current source acting we have to set to zero a voltage source which means we have to uh, short its terminals solution of these uh, circuits with one source acting only is trivial below you have this solution and then if we add them up these two components we obtain the current that we are looking for which is 0 0.7 amp this was application of a superposition theorem